Hello viewers, this is Educational World Selagze and this is the continuation video on our physics practical cheat on electricity. Alright, now we are going to go straight to the graph plotting. In our previous video, we obtained the table of values that are required for us to plot our graphs. So we have the table we are asked to plot the graph of R2 on the vertical axis against R1 on the horizontal axis. All right, so let's dive straight into our graph plotting. All right, now, before we start our graph plotting, there are a few things I would like you to take note of when it comes to graph plotting. These are very important if you want to get your maximum mark in physics practical work. So the first thing you have to take note of is the title of the graph. The title of the graph is very important. In this case, the title of this graph is, this is a graph of R2 against R1. So you are expected to do this, okay? Put the title of the graph, very important. Now the next thing you have to do is the scale of the graph. So in this case, this graph here, we have the scale is 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units on the vertical axis and as well as 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units on the horizontal axis. So I'm going to explain this for you to see. All right, so here is the vertical axis. This is the axis of R2. Now you can see that from zero to this point is one cm. From here to here is two cm. That is how I got my scale 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units on the vertical axis. The same thing happens here. From here to here is 1 cm. And from this point now, move to this point is another 1 cm. So 1 on 1 is 2 cm. So on the horizontal axis, 2 cm to represent 0 0.1 units. All right. Now we are supposed to plot the graph of R1 r2 against r1 so the next thing you have to be careful about is the units the units in your table of values these units are very very important so we have to put the units and you can see as well equal number of decimal placements you can see each the table have equal number of decimal placements in this case they are two they are kept in two decimal places so we need to have equal number of decimal placements very important this is a graph of r2 versus r1 so when r2 is 3 point 0 0.39 okay r1 is 0 0.37 so you can see here so this is 0 0.3 0 0.3 so we have 10 spaces between 0 0.3 to 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.3, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, up to 0 0.35, and 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, and 0 0.39. So this is 0 0.39. So that is that. So 0 0.39 and there's 0 0.37. And we plot the points here. So that's the points. We plot the points here. Now, when R2 is 0 0.35, R1 is 0 0.34. Then we plot the points as well. Then we go ahead when R2 is 0 0.30, R1 is 0 0.29. Okay, so we plot the points as well. Now we go ahead when R2 is 0 0.26, R1 is 0 0.25. Joining the points of this, uh, of our graph. So we join the points with a straight line, okay? So this is a straight line. We join the points with a straight line. And then to evaluate for the slope, we choose a comfortable right-angled triangle. We draw a comfortable right-angled triangle that is easy to read off, all right? We choose points that are easy to read off on our graph to calculate the slope, okay? So what is slope? Slope is change in the vertical axis Okay, divided by change in the horizontal axis. So that is slope. Slope is change in R2 divided by change in R1. 0 0.39 subtracted from 0 0.07. This point here is 0 
subtracting with 0 0.07 that's for the vertical axis okay then for the horizontal axis we have here this is 0 0.37 here is 0 0.37 we subtract it from this other one you can see this point when you read it off accurately when you read off this point accurately you're going to have 0 0.075 so it's between 0 0.07 and 0 0.08 when we go ahead and simplify what we have here so we will have that our slope s is going to give us 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.295 which is equal to 1.08 now you remember the slope has no unit okay because the two ohms they are going to cancel each other out so the the value of our slope is dimensionless so and we are asked to evaluate for k k is the square root of the slope s so we go ahead so we are asked to evaluate for k and k is equal to the square root of x all right so k is equal to the square root of 1.08 and the square root of 1.08 is equal to what 1.04 remember there is no units now we are asked to state two precautions that we took to ensure accurate results there are several precautions that should be taken for us to ensure accurate results one of them is we need to ensure that at the end of each reading that we disconnect the key to prevent the battery from draining second precaution we ensure that we had tight connections that our connections are tight okay this will make sure that we have accurate readings thirdly we ensured that we avoided error due to parallax when taking our readings on the meter the fourth reason okay is that we also ensured that we took into account zero error on our instruments okay zero error for instance in our center zero galvanometer before any deflation occurs if the needle is not exactly at the zero mark we need to take note of that and do some compensation when we are taking our reading that is what we mean by taking into account of any zero error in any of our measuring devices all right so we've come to the end of the yac 2024 physics practical cheat in this case this is the graph plotting thank you so much for being part of this video with me make sure to hit that like button the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when i upload other videos all right thank you god bless you